Blue Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> it is time for your mid-June to July reading of this current year. Yes, yes, yes. Hope you all are doing lovely today. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after all. No worries. Doesn't have to be real. It's pretend it's Harry Potter or Pokemon or something. I don't know. You'll figure it out. We're going to see what's up with you. It's going to be six ways as usual, Sagittarius. So we're just going to sit here and see. Oh, shit. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Two of cups reversed. Two people are not meshing well together. Your wants and wished possibly a Capricorn or just some relationship or a situation. Oh, well, make up your fucking mind, dude. <laughs> Fear and rejection is the lovers right here. The situation is you're waiting on something probably to do with this right here but the obstacles and challenges coming against you is a burden and i think that if you're dealing with a capricorn they're the burden good luck with that that's not a joke and the beginning theme as well as the final result is the hermit virgo's card um you might be going inward introspection to figure some things out Beginning theme, mental torment. Nine of swords. Possibly a word of caution, I feel like. Because, you know, Capricorns are good people, but we got sociopathic tendencies. You know, we got, like, we're like that stray rabid dog you pick up in the yard. Like, sure, we love you because you took us in and feed us and shit. That in no way deters the fact that we don't know what the fuck to do in a civilized society. And sometimes we go a megalomaniac and psychological crazy things. You know, that's just how we are. Ooh. Two of cups with two of cups. Both reversed. This one's way dark, though. Um, it's like y'all have been separated for a while. Or you guys aren't meshing well to begin with, and you still aren't meshing well as the night goes on. It's just kind of like, are we even compatible right now? Because I feel like I really want to punch you in the face because you're getting on my nerves. It's like, um, two people aren't meshing well, and it's like, you know, it's kind of like don't judge a book by its cover. You know that that's a stupid fucking saying, because you know human beings are animals, and animals have instincts and can sense things about people too. So you're not really judging them as much as you are making an assessment. And it's like, you look at them, and you're just like, okay, I know what's up with you, but like, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll give you a, a second chance. And it's been like... I don't know, three days later, and you're you're just like, you know what, you're not gonna, you're, like, you're still gonna eat my fucking muffins out of my fridge when I tell you not to do it, aren't you? My husband's nodding his head. <laughs> uh, okay, three of wands, right? Someone is waiting for a potential love that might not happen. You know, this bitch is made of stone. You're waiting on somebody who's a statue to come, I think, to you, or you're waiting to see what happens with this, but this is like stone. It's like petrified. It's like stuck, right? The devil. Capricorn's card. Might not be a healthy situation as well. Two people might have drawn in the devil with their negative influence. And that it, like, and that's why these two people just can't get there. It's just kind of like, hmm, like it's all right. Like there are already two people. What you want could be a Capricorn, I would say, but it's like they they are already in like a negative thing already with somebody they aren't with. Like you're rebound, I guess. Um. 
could have swore this was a different picture, but maybe I read it wrong before. Like, okay, this burden down here, Ten of Wands, is to feel comfortable in your old age with your dog. That's your burden. It's like, oh, like you don't want to become a crazy cat lady or something? You just don't want to be old and then have a dog and that be your only companion? Is that what's up? Like the end stages, it's like that's what you're burdened with? Or you're burdened with like just being the most stable person there? Like, you know, not even wanting to fight the other person over it as much as before? Like, you'd rather be, like, alone with your pet than, like, deal with all of this? Because it's just kind of like, ah, oh, this is way too much for me. You know, all of this emotional shit is draining me and making me go into swampy waters. And now I'm getting defensive and saying, like, hostile stuff. Because this is not happening as quickly as I want it to. Or something like that. Or this investment is taking way longer than what was, like, actually established within the contract. One of those two. The lovers, once again, lovers are always reversed over here, but somebody is afraid of this lover's card. Could be dealing with a Gemini as well. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Gemini, or those two could be in whoever's charts or whatever. Oop. Oh, feeling betrayal. Feeling trapped behind those swords. With the no, no, that's the nine of swords. So it's just like someone's just focused on the swords. Um, on the other side, like there's daylight and there's a possible chance of escaping. At least you get to see the day, but here it's like all you can see is swords. Like there's light coming in, but it, it looks more like it's coming from the swords than it does from the outside. The Indian uh, Virgos, the Hermit card. Someone going introspection, just like they did in the beginning, and that's how they're going to do it in the end. I think somebody will just be. I think some of you are just okay with like being by yourselves for a minute. Yeah, you are. Like you're done with the shit. You just want to start something new. You're excited to start something new too. Like these cups right here just made you feel all falafel like, or just like uh. It brought too much, like, emotion out of you, I think. You want a rebirth after death. Like, I think maybe you resurrected somebody, and, like, now she's dancing fruitfully. It's like life after the birth again. With, um, Scorpio, maybe? And the ending theme is Three of Cups. Bitches dancing, offering, having a good time, establishing stuff. This one chick might be choosing to pick this chick over the other, but... I don't think so entirely. I don't think. I don't know. It's like a three of wands situation. Like, okay. It's like all of this fun and fanciful good time is to cover up the fact that somebody's got problems in their head or in their mind about how things are going. Like, here's the Wheel of Fortune, and it is turning by the will of the universe rather than by that which is being turned for. Meaning that, like, whoever is, um,. The wheel is turning for it. It's being turned for them because it's like they're not really doing anything. They cause the wheel... Like, it'd be different because, like, at least with the magician right here. Like this, because this is the magician. I mean, at least if he was here, I would say you're being in control of your own destiny at this point. But, no, destiny is turning for you. You're going to be taken on a ride. 
Uh, you might be getting settled into a place where, um, this is actually the first King of Wands he's looking forward rather than to the past. So, judging the present accordingly. Could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, just like yourself, or an Aries. Cross rosters, once again, mind yourselves. Someone might be trying to take rule fairly. Um, some secrets that get revealed might cause the burden to stick around way longer than what you were anticipating. But they are moving ahead. It just seems like it's endless. And... Someone is willing to come in and fight a lot of people for no reason at all. Like, just to start shit. Work salad it up. Just be atrociously ignorant, if you will, to this situation. Because, you know, like, it, it's taken way too long for their investment to come back to them. And they feel ultra betrayed as well. But unfortunately, it's all a daydream in their head. Like, their in, in entire idea of who they are might be a false persona that they have pretty much made up. Like, they feel betrayed because they had an image to keep up, and you couldn't help them accomplish that, I think. If not, you, Sagittarius, the person you're dealing with. But, that is your reading. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations, for, which is with my PayPal, which is down below as well, if you so choose. Like, share, and subscribe just as well. I love y'all's faces. Take it easy, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.